Hi. Today we have a radio cassette set. It is made by or branded Sunny and also has been written Japan under the na under the uh, the Sunny. This is obviously a Chinese set. It is a cassette tape recorder and player and also a radio receiver AM FM if we switch the switch to the upper uh, position you will get FM and the down position you will engage the AM circuitry. Now I'm making this video because there is, as I said in previous previous video, there is a number of videos I'm going to post on YouTube and regarding building a multiple AM FM and assembling an AM radios that I bought them online and I and this is a very simple circuit this circuit is quite in intriguing and very because it is very simple and it is a very very interesting the way they uh, use this particular uh, design in order to receive AM and FM so as we can see the, uh, the uh, variable in this circuit is normally an AM uh, from the look of it it is a AM variable normal AM variable but when you flip it up, uh, notice the uh, the way they arrange the uh, 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 trim capacitor or the adjusters uh, the adjust capacitor in the back of the variable. Uh, they adjust it in a way that this particular kind you, uh, of variable it can tune AM and FM. Uh, in in the same knob on the same shaft as we can see there is no uh, IF can whatsoever no IC no nothing all what they uh, all what they uh, made all or all uh, the component the main component is this transistor and this and transistor and this transistor it means this is a radio with three transistor and it can receive an AM and an FM frequencies or ranges this entire design is work and fed by 6 volt has been fed by 6 volt and because it is uh, odd and uh, it has no parts I needed to see how they make it so in order to do that and to study it further I reverse engineer all the traces and the parts and here is the complete schematic of the radio tuner as we can see around here let me just this is the AM antenna bar antenna the um, the primary coil and the secondary coil the secondary coil is 
the uh, it has the less winding and the primary coil is have the most uh, number of uh, uh, of winding this so it can receive the AM waves and also the primary winding it is always or sorry maybe maybe I made it made it uh, or said it wrong the uh, the secondary coil it is always connected to the variable the primary coil is uh, connected uh, one pin for the uh, AC, uh, AC, uh, DC pins and the other is connected typically to the input of the transistor the AM main transistor so let's let's take a little bit closer about and to understand how this circuit can work there is the variable which has it has two capacitors they are both linked in the uh, in the middle uh, pin the capacitor number one is for the AM capacitor number two is for the FM so as taking a look at this uh, circuit we can understand how it can work this is the uh, signal or the uh, audio amplifier transistor as we can see here and here is the output I forgot to write an output as we can see the symbol of the ground it's a little bit different and we will see after a minute why it is different mainly all the radios has a one ground and which is common and it is unified to all the traces that it is in the ground that should be linked to the ground but not in this case this is basically uh, uh, how does the uh, FM work the FM is um, and this transistor uh, is fed by the symbol of the ground so as we can see here is the VCC there's a three uh, uh, pin uh, in the VCC or the uh, uh, positive it's fed through this 15 kilo and directly to to the uh, ground symbol over here I made it a ground symbol because it is the larger one but in this case I believe it is it is hot Duh. and so it is only fed by uh, this resistor so when you feed 6 volt or maybe 3 volts I did not measure it and remember this is only a block diagram just to explain how this uh, uh, circuit work when you feed a positive or uh, a, a positive uh, power to the base of a of a transistor it will engage and the 
emitter of the transistor should be connected to the ground. This is the main ground. It means if we have a DC, uh, every DC line have a positive and a negative. In this case, the positive is VCC and the negative it is this symbol. Okay, now we want to engage the FM band. So, this is gra uh, uh, fed from this resistor over here and this transistor is fed also from this resistor over here so this transistor is now fed with voltage but in order to work you need the emitter of this transistor to be uh, connected to the ground through a resistor or through a coil and this is where the AM switch came into place and in order to engage an FM the ground of the battery is connected through this resistor through this coil to the emitter so this transistor is now oscillating now it is oscillating and the oscillation is determined by uh, uh, adjusting this coil and the variable and the trim cap so once this has been oscillating and of course the antenna as we can see the uh, FM antenna is fed to the uh, uh, to the um, emitter of the transistor all the waves it is received in this point but in order to determine and it is going to pass through the transistor in a uh, opposite direction through this coil in order and has been trimmed to this capacitor so it is a reverse uh, receiver circuit in the FM standard and that what make it so uh, very very interesting so As we said before, the uh, VCC or the positive is uh, c uh, connected to this symbol, which is basi basically the ground, but it is not the ground in this circuit. And also the frequency and the IF has been fed to this. So we have an amplification circuit and the line is out of this point or in this trace this trace as we go to this side of the circuit this is as we said this is the audio amplifier and it is in the FM position as we can see how this amplifier will receive a signal through this 5.6 K resistance so uh, antenna amplified tune it by this capacitor and by this coil and also has been uh, this terminal or the main it is uh, a VCC and a po positive uh, connector and a audio signal output this is how the FM circuit works. So in AM, now in AM, the opposite will happen. In AM, this will uh, this uh, switch will engage in this position, and the uh, AM will uh, this switch will engage in this position. So the output of this resistor will be never disconnected but as but as long uh, the uh, emitter of uh, uh, this transistor this uh, AM 
oscillator transistor uh, oh, oh sorry the fm of uh, this oscillator transistor is disconnected so the uh, this transistor will stop working and uh, the uh, uh, as we can see this transistor the am transistor will engage and will start working on the am division once this switch is engaged to this pin and to the emitter of this transistor this transistor is operating so how this circuit work simply as we did see over here here is the positive through an 82 kilo ohm resistor is connected to the one of the pin of the primary uh, coil the, the lesser turn and the other one is connected to the base of the transistor once this transistor is uh, so basically what happened in this iron ferrite when the waves and of course the the, uh, the, uh, the am waves are in the air so there there will be a massive uh, So there, so there will be a massive oscillator uh, oscillation uh, in this coil. Imagine this coil uh, and this uh, iron uh, iron rod or ferrite uh, rod antenna. Uh, it's like a transformer. So basically, what this is, the waveform. In this arrangement will engage an electrical uh, AC signal but in a very very uh, low uh, uh, power you can trim the capacitance and the uh, oscillator uh, and the oscillation of the antenna by trimming this AM capacitor so you can trim it minus or plus and so you can uh, receive an radio frequency so when you trim this uh, variable and uh, adjust this uh, a trim capacitor you can adjust the uh, the, the um, radio frequency to the radio station that you are going to receive it so once this as we said this is grounded of course and it in this case the cap uh, the transistor is now in oscillator uh, position so it is oscillating and through this coil and through this capacitor it is also the audio uh, signal is going to be traveled through the uh, the emit uh, collector of the transistor through the switch to the output amplifier audio output amplifier it is a very uh, cute little circuit it is <laughs> ridiculously ridiculously funny it is uh, it has a very few parts but uh, it works thank you for watching I hope you like this video if you like please give me thumbs up and please sub subscribe to my channel more videos is coming soon on building radios and i hope you like it thank you for watching goodbye